Hello, beautiful family. I hope you are all right. If you're anything like me, you're you're feeling perhaps a bit weary and desiring that the Lord would come. So am I. Um, I can't wait. Well, let me tell you some encouragement. A few days ago, I was doing a, a, a video outside. No, well, first of all, about nine days ago, I, I noticed that people were getting numbers from the Lord and looking in the strongest concordance. So I, I said, Lord, give me a number, please. I pray in Jesus' name. And, um, and for about a week, I, I kept looking at different numbers and nothing really spoke to me. Nothing was significant. And then a few days ago, if you watched the video, I, I did a video outside and it, and um, I'd forgotten all about asking God for a number. And it was the sun was glaring. I couldn't see the time on the video. I didn't mean to do it. At, but it landed at 24 minutes. Bang on, 24 minutes the video was. And I felt the Lord saying to me, look at that number. So I looked and it meant indignation. And we know... Well, most of you know that it's a, the truth of the pre-tribulation rapture, that we are not appointed to God's wrath. And indignation means wrath. Um, so that spoke to me like, well, it, it, if the wrath of the Lord is about to be poured out, then we are about to leave because we are not appointed to God's wrath. And then yesterday, I had a very difficult day yesterday. I think I was being oppressed by wicked spirits and I felt uh, so weak. My legs were like jelly. I felt awful yesterday. Um, there were some parts of the day that weren't so bad, but um, about, about half past five yesterday, I made something to eat and I finished eating it. And I thought, I'm going to ask God for another number. So I, I went to my bed and got down on my knees. First of all, I put on the full armour of God. Full armour of God. And I prayed, really expecting, really faithful, expecting God. And I said, Lord, please give me a number to encourage me that you are coming. So I, I, I went into the kitchen and washed the pots Washed, washed the dishes after having my, t my dinner. I came back in here. I was just, I can't remember what I was doing. I was doing something. And the Lord said to me, look at the time on your phone. So I looked at the time and it said 16.07 um, in the 24-hour clock. 16.07. So I, I went into the strongest concordance thinking, nah, this isn't not going to mean anything even though the Lord just told me to look at the time anyway I looked in the Strong's Concordance 1607 it it means to I take out to deliver choose I rescue completely out from remove completely complete rescue bringing a person into for deliverance, 1807, 1807, that was the number, it was seven minutes past six, but it's 24 hour clock on the phone, it said 1807, I don't know if I said that right at first, but 1807 was the number, and I was like, oh my gosh, because there was no mistaking, the Lord said to me, look at the time on your phone, and even when, he, even when I looked at the, the number, I still doubted. Even though I prayed in faith and the Lord spoke to me very clearly, look at the phone. And I went to the Strong's Concordance and that's what it means. I take out. He's going to take us out of this world. To deliver. To choose. I rescue completely out from. Remove completely. Uh, complete rescue. Bringing a person into full deliverance. So, wow. Uh, so, I'm just trusting the Lord that he is about to come. 
I believe he is. So don't be discouraged. Um, he is about to come. Many people were expecting either yesterday or the day before, but he's he's coming. Don't give up now. I want to encourage you all. He's about to come. Um, listen to this. Uh, uh, listen to this. Thy dead men shall live. Oh, sorry. Isaiah 26, verse 19. Thy dead men shall live. Together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing, ye that dwell in dust. For thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. The first resurrection. Come, my people, rapture. Enter thou into thy chambers, the wedding chambers, and shut thy doors about thee, Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. Indignation, that's the first word. The first time I've ever asked for a word and the Lord gives me indignation. And the second time, I can't remember what the Greek word was, but take out, deliver, choose. I rescue completely out from, remove completely, complete rescue bringing a person into full deliverance. So any moment now, and and he's gonna come. Um, hold on, where is it? And it shall be said in that day, lo, this is our God. We have waited for him and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Isaiah 25 verse 9. So, my gosh, I know many of you are feeling weary and tired. And you, like me, and you just can't stand this world anymore. Um, I'm just going to pray for you all. I love you all. Gary, I love you. Don't be sad because he's coming. Dear Father God. I pray, first of all, you confirm this. These two numbers were given to me by you and that I lie not. And I pray you confirm it to them. I pray you fill them all afresh with Holy Spirit, fire of the Lord, a fresh anointing, that you bless them all richly and abundantly, taking away sorrow. Let them rejoice. Let the joy of the Lord be poured out upon us, Lord, poured out upon them and um, keep them in your perfect love which casts out fears and um, make your face shine upon everyone watching be gracious unto them all lift up the light and beauty of your countenance upon them all and give them peace which passes knowledge in the name of Jesus surround them with your angels who will touch them and strengthen them and fight off every wicked spirit. I pray people feeling ill will be made well. People feeling bowed down shall be lifted up. Comfort their hearts. Show them that you are about to come in the name of Jesus. Father, it's got goosebumps all over me then. So I'm just going to make this video short so it uploads quickly. So I love you all. I know that I'm going to see you very shortly. God bless. Bye.